so I'm hoping you are excited about this tutorial because I am so excited. It's so much fun, it's so glittery and girly and feminine and I think all it takes is a little bit of confidence, just a little bit of, um, you know, willingness to step out of your comfort zone and try something out of the ordinary. I hope you enjoy the video. So the first makeup don't is apply a foundation that is the right skin colour. You never want your foundation to match the rest of your body just because it doesn't look obvious enough. If you're going to wear makeup, you want it to be obvious that you're wearing makeup. So any colour that is either way too light or way too dark for your skin will work. Alright, so I'm going to start off with this nice darker colour. Grab that on a foundation brush and just start working that on my face. Okay, so just take as much as you want and apply that all over your face. Kind of just like you're painting your face basically. If you don't have a darker foundation you can always use Nutella and that way if you get hungry throughout the day you can just kind of wipe some off your face and just have a little snack so you can use it for two things at once. We don't want to blend that down our neck either just because then it will look a little bit more natural just a little bit so we want to keep it literally like a, kind of just a line where our jaw and our neck meets that way when you go like this and you push your neck down you can see a really crisp defined line we want it to look like a mask we don't want it to look like our actual skin so if your foundation doesn't look like this you're probably not doing it right I'm actually going to set that with a bronzing powder so I'm going to put this all over my face doesn't matter where it goes I just want to kind of enhance that foundation colour and this brush is actually shedding like crazy so I'm not even going to bother picking all the little black hairs off all over my face but if you have a dark setting powder you can even try I don't know like cocoa powder try and set that over the Nutella and as I said before if you do get hungry that will taste delicious now as you guys probably know I do love my Kim Kardashian under eye highlight and we're going to do that today, but I think we're going to take it to the next level. So I'm going to grab this uh, High The Blemish Concealer from Rimmel, which is in the colour 001 Ivory. As I said before, you have to choose a colour that's pretty much opposite to your skin colour, which is this one. I'm just going to take that in the tube and apply that underneath our eyes. And we will blend it, so don't worry too much about how it's looking. It looks a little bit like sunscreen right now, but... It's okay. A little bit down our nose, just to slim it down. A little bit on our chin, forehead. And now I follow the important blending. So we're just going to work that underneath our eyes, blend it out a little bit. On our chin, on our forehead. And down our nose. And you can already tell I'm starting just to look like some kind of exotic goddess I don't know how boys will be able to resist you looking like such an absolute babe so smoking if you've seen my last video that is very similar to this video then you'll know that we always apply our highlighters straight from the pan just because we want maximum maximum shine I had a few people commenting that I looked like um, the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz so that's pretty much what I was going for okay so Put a bit more of that on, down the bridge of your nose, and on your forehead. Anywhere that you want to accentuate um, your T-zone or where you might get oily. Just because when people see you having an oily, shiny face, it means that you are healthy and glowing. So, obviously, the more oil you have on your face, the more glowing you look. So, if you have lots and lots of oil, like enough to fry an egg with, then you know that people are just going to kind of admire how um, dewy and glowing and healthy you are so in the meantime don't shower, don't wash your face, don't do anything that could possibly get rid of the oil on your face because you want to keep it just greasy and slick all over there. Now time for blush, this is where we get to have a little bit of fun with some colour so I'm choosing this bright bright pink one from NYX it is called Pinky and it has a little bit of shimmer in it so that's going to accentuate the shimmer on our cheeks already. I'm going to use this huge big brush just because I really do want this blush to cover a large space. So I'm just going to dip my brush in there quite a lot. 
get it all over, smile so that my apples on my cheeks are showing, and apply that everywhere basically. I'm sorry, I'm just amazed at how cute this look always turns out. I always get compliments on it whenever I wear it, so I'm so excited to show you guys. Okay, I'm going to grab this e.l.f. shimmer eyeliner pencil and use this in my brows. So black is good no matter what eyebrow colour you have. If you have really, really fair hair, like I'm talking like white hair, black looks amazing. It just makes your eyebrows look like sharpie eyebrows, like you've actually drawn them on with a permanent marker. So that's the look that we're trying to go for basically. Alright, I'm just going to start drawing in my eyebrows and I'm going to ignore the shape of them normally. I'm just going to draw a thin line. A lot of girls that I see make the mistake of making their eyebrows start bigger and then go thinner. You want them literally just to be like one um, thickness the whole way. So like you literally have drawn them on with a sharpie. So one straight line. Doesn't matter if they match, as long as you can see them basically, so make it nice and long. Eyebrows frame your face, so you really do want them to stand out. And you can even make a little line going down if you like, just to give them a little, little bit more shape. Now for my favourite part, which is the eyes. So I'm going to grab my Maybelline Colour Tattoo Eyeliner in Tenacious Teal. It is this bright electric blue shimmery cream eyeshadow. So I'm going to grab that on my ring finger. I'm using my fingers because I can get more product. I want to apply that all over my eyelid. And no, I'm not going to stop on my eyelid. I want to bring it all the way up to my brow bone as well. Yummy. Now for the really, really fun part, my favourite part, which is the glitter. So I'm going to use this NYX Candy Glitter Liner in Baby Pink, which is just this fluoro sparkly pink. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids, literally all over the eyelids where I applied the blue cream shadow, just because I want a really sticky base for the next step. And the more glitter, the more fabulous you're going to look. Grab some bright blue glitter and just apply this all over my eyelid. And I'm being honest when I say the more the merrier, so that is just looking absolutely awesome. It looks so good. Uh, okay, how does that look? That's the old one. That, that's how it looks before, and that's how it looks after. If you find your like soulmate after wearing this tutorial, no need to thank me. Woo! Hot tea. So now that we have this glitter all over our eyes, we want to add some more. So. I'm going to grab this darker, I'd say it's like a dark grey shimmer glittery eyeliner and it's a really nice thick one so we can apply a lot to our eyelids. So I'm just going to use this basically as an eyeliner and wing that out as well, just like that. Just going to make a nice clean line. We almost want it to look like somebody's got some glitter in their hands and then they've like sneezed or farted or something and then it kind of just blows straight onto your face like and then this big dust cloud or glitter cloud has just settled all over your face. I'm going to go in with that shimmer eyeliner pencil that we used before and I want to go over that glitter eyeliner with an actual shimmer eyeliner. So the more shimmer and the more sparkle the better. This one is just going to go where you would normally apply an eyeliner. Doesn't matter if it's messy because the glitter is going to make it look neat anyway. So if you're putting eyeliner on the bottom of your lashes, you never want it to connect in the corner. Just because that looks... It just doesn't look right. So we want it to look, make our eyes look really, really round and like the little bulgy circles. Now for the fun part which is false lashes. And I know most people apply their false lashes on the very very base of their eyelashes, like the very very core bit, just so that it looks more natural but I think that kind of doesn't really serve the full purpose. I think I like to apply them like halfway up my eyelid just because it makes your eyes look even bigger. So I'm going to apply them just 
about a centimeter up from where my actual eyelashes are just because it makes my eyelashes look even longer than they actually are and most people will actually end up applying mascara to kind of fuse the false lashes and the real lashes together but I don't really think that's a good idea because if you're wearing false lashes you want them to obviously look like they're false like you don't want them to look like they're real otherwise you would just not even wear them so I'm not gonna put any mascara on I want them to be separate sets of lashes you want to choose a lipstick that's really 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 bright and pink so this lipstick is Inox's lipstick in pink Peony or peony. I don't know how to pronounce that word and my lips are kind of dry and cracked at the moment And this is a matte lipstick, but I'm actually not even going to exfoliate my lips just because What's the point it doesn't who cares if it looks like it's really really dry and crackly and dry So I'm not gonna bother doing that I think that's just silly and I'm gonna overdraw my lips a little bit as well just to make them look like they're more full and plump So thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like the video down below. Don't be scared of you know, stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something a little bit out of the ordinary because I think you'll be really really pleasantly surprised about how it turns out. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week, bye. Oh my god, I think I've just hit a new low. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs>